evaluation is a form of feedback which is given to the speaker in this particular competition we are all we can all listen to a particular speech and write evaluation about that particular speech and deliver we are evaluated on how well we have constructed our evaluation and various other points let's learn from somebody who would tell us the techniques and what all are we supposed to keep in mind when we are evaluating a particular speech may i please call upon our very experienced toastmaster subramanyam who has not only been a toastmaster for a decade but has also represented our country country in the international speech contest semi finals may i please call upon dtm subramanyam to take the session on evaluation speech contest thank you Can we share it now? Yeah, please share. It. I will share. It. Yeah. Okay. So hi. Uh, good afternoon and good evening to one and all so here we come to the evaluations till now uh, it was uh, it was so good to listen to shiva because he was giving us all the tips and techniques through which you can you know if you can't get your message through you can probably confuse your audience you can do word play you can add layers and layers of meanings and um, you can play with words you can do whatever you want still get those laughs still get those smiles and get away with the speech that's what he's saying right essentially that's what he said no you do whatever you want now this is the time we wear that hat of an evaluator and see how many layers that onion has so that we all can feel it properly right now um so this is the agenda of this will be the agenda of the session um uh, why do we need an evaluation what are the basic guidelines for a speech evaluation and evaluating the regular speeches uh, at the club because pragya was very very uh, straight on to the point when she told me that you know you better tell us how to evaluate the club also because there are a lot of new members who are joining right and then how do we evaluate at the contest and then i leave the floor open for the questions and answers so we will move on uh, with a simple and a straight question why do you want to evaluate a speech people who have not read through the ppt because it was being shared even before the session started so if you have not cheated already probably give the answer if you have cheated then you already know the answer so either ways so why do you want to evaluate a speech so how would we evaluate it i mean shiva is very very honest here he said you know i don't care i don't give a who damn who about the audience i want to improve myself here hard me jaye public i want to evaluate i want to become a better evaluator that's it next year i want the trophy very very good sir I, i really you know i really like your honesty anybody else speaker i have you already heard my session now before very nice can i yeah anybody from the offline uh, uh, i mean online sorry because i am seeing oh. this crowd is online already but yeah. anybody from the uh, uh, people who are actually listening this through zoom or you know wasting your saturday evening sitting in your home and still listening to this bakbak if you want to so still answer this speaker must so to, to evaluate a speech we need to see how the uh, speech is structured and what is the takeaway message at the end of the speech uh, who is this can you please venkatraman venkatraman hi, hi venkatraman yeah yeah so you want to listen to what the speaker has to say and probably what he could have done better that's what you so, meant ha huh, that is so what is the take away message from the speech what is it the speaker trying to tell or what information is trying to give to the audience okay that's why you want to evaluate that speech and also the structure the flow of the okay you want to speech. you want to yeah yeah okay yes. any anybody else uh, uh... hey uh, i would wish to evaluate the speech because if i would evaluate a speech i think i would get better coming as Yeah, I I I miss the last part of your sentence, but yeah, uh, probably what I am getting from what I heard till now is that you want to make yourself better. No, no, no. So, if I speak, 
I would get better at my fundamentals of public speaking. Uh, how I could deliver a good speech. So you become an evaluator to become a good speaker. Uh, that's what essentially you're saying. One one of the aspects is this. there are many other aspects. That one is this. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I would like to add. So why we evaluate? Because in the process, we learn the art of giving feedback. And it is important every aspect of life. Along with that, if we aim to become a great public speaker, we understand the through the evaluation, we understand how the speech should be. And when we continue giving evaluation in the process, we also improve on our writing, the script writing skills. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay. I'll now take some answers from the room. So anybody in the in the in this room who wants to give an answer. But I don't make the same mistakes. You evaluate too. Okay. It improves your critical thinking. Shiva, you have set a very bad precedent. Now, I mean, everyone is Swarthi Dano. I was studying in the fifth class. Mein padha tha main. That, that fellow, I, me, myself, was going on. Okay. Uh, well, um, yeah, while improving yourself is a very, very important part of you being in Toastmasters, there are some things which you do because we have got to help the other fellow also. That poor fellow who has given seven minutes of talk and you know, uh, seven and a half minutes of bug bug to karra tha, you, you and you are like coming back and telling, I'll pick up what is important for me. Uh, essentially, I would more or less agree with Venkat Raman sir and, uh, and, and a few others, uh, but uh, this is the only objective of any evaluation. You want to make the speech a better speech and you want to make the speaker a better speaker. Beyond this, there is no objective for any evaluation. Please remember this much. Let us get our basics, our fundamentals right. You are evaluating because you know you can make that speech a better speech and you know you are going to make the speaker a better speaker. There is no I here. Are you getting it? No, don't dream of, no, forget your judges. Forget the silver wave that is there on display. Forget the ribbons. Your job for three minutes or three and a half minutes is I would make the speech a better speech and I would make the speaker a better speaker in these three minutes. Bas itnai. There is no other large you know, there is no large world grand plan which you are doing. Okay. There is nothing else that you're doing here. You're only making the speech a better speech, wearing that hat there. Okay. As simple as that. No. Okay. Both serious. Okay. No? Of late, Bollywood is seeing so many flops. No. Can anyone tell me why Bollywood is seeing so many flops? Okay. There is no relatability. It has not evolved with the audience. Wonderful. Epotism. Karina Kapoor to kisi ko yaad to hai. Any any other answer? No, no. There is no no good story to uh, give it give to the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very good. Now I'll tell you why I personally feel from a Toastmasters perspective why Bollywood is failing. Because forgetting the audience, Bollywood is trying to impress three people. One is Rajiv Mosin, who writes reviews. The second fellow is Rajiv Sain. He also writes reviews, if you don't know. The third person is Anupama Chopra. These idiots are trying to impress those three people only and forgetting the audience. This is what happens when you try to impress your judges and forget the public. And Taran Adarsh also, I'm sorry. They are trying to impress him also, but he's not getting impressed. That's a different story. Now people are very clear. They are saying if these three fellows like that movie, we won't watch it. That is what is happening right now in Bollywood. I don't know if somebody has already caught this or not, but I caught it. The moment these three people give it three stars, people are making it 0 0.5 star. And the movies that they are saying, don't watch, they are becoming big hits. I don't understand why they are trying to impress those people. So, this is what happens when we try to impress anyone in our evaluation or in our speech. 
okay try to be as honest as possible try to be yourself don't wear a mask for anybody else bollywood teen logon ke chakkar mein matlab puri tarah barbad ho gayi hai so one more important thing i want to tell you is as an evaluator the most important thing that you need to have is honesty forget the judges forget even 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 if you know the audience you will forget the audience also try to be extremely honest with that one particular fellow who has given 7 minutes of his life's time to you and to give those 7 minutes that guy would have spent 70 80 minutes rehearsing writing preparing try to do justice to that don't try to impress him don't try to adulate them don't try to show them down be honest be sincere in every line that you say okay we'll move on now how do we do that well <clears throat> you have got to connect to the speaker otherwise the speaker is not going to respond to whatever feedback you are giving going to give to him so connect to the speaker obviously common sense come into things that went well make objective recommendations summarize on the end at the end and you know uh, and end it on a note where the fellow comes back and delivers another speech okay he or she just because you got a chance to get you know even steven with them don't matlab apna gussa wahan pe mat nikalo ensure that you end it in such a way that that fellow will come back again to i mean he or she and if they use personal pronouns whatever pronoun they want to use okay uh that's a big thing here nowadays it's like you know people are saying you have to use pronoun only for me so so please um let them come back and uh, give another speech that's the most important thing uh with an evaluation so now let's move on now in fifth class or sixth class your teacher would have told that there are seven parts of the speech unless you are pursuing your ma in english or ba in english you can say if, or your daughter or son is coming to you with an assignment saying ki papa how many parts of speech are there as long as you are in toast masters there are only two parts to a speech one is content two is delivery no not just a speech here whatever story you tell in this world there are only two things to it one is the content the other is a delivery right no not lal singh said that it has got nothing in both i mean content bhi bura hai delivery bhi bahut ghatiya hai matlab you you can forget that but but it's how many of you have, because i mean i'm sure shiva said he has watched kartike yesterday how many of you have watched kartike online offline okay uh a very very poor response so i can't i can't use that as a movie uh, to deliver uh, a session here so how many of you have watched uh, uh, any of these uh, you know indiana jones wala stuff for uh, okay uh, harry potter stuff yaar online mein to koi aa hi nahi raha hai mere ko harry potter stuff you all have watched okay so what happens there is yeah uh, abhinava thanks for saying that you have already watched so what happens in almost all of these famous movies is even even that i mean i wanted to give the example of kartikeya because kartikeya 2 the movie that got released recently also is very 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 strong on content and in delivery it has gone all over the place i am not saying it's the best movie made in india at least in the recent times no that's not the best movie how many of you have watched at least the kashmir files or stuff like that most of you must have watched it right kashmir files it was one of the horrific making of a movie if you look at the delivery part of it but on the content they were very very strong kartikeya very very strong on content the thing that i am trying to make here is when you have the two parts of a speech content and delivery as long as the content is great whether you are making a movie writing a story writing a speech you will get away with it many many issues on the delivery would more or less be covered if the content is solid right and whenever you are looking at a speech you have got to look at both the content and the delivery if your content is good your delivery is bad if your delivery is many a times it happens to us masters that you know you can you, you look at a lot of world championship winning speeches you would feel like kya tha yaar isme 
have you ever wondered you saw a world championship speech in toastmasters finals and you are like bhai how did this guy get here hamare to club bhi cross nahi karega yaar ha it happens with all of us that is the beauty of delivery you have great speakers great personalities they come over they walk they talk they win your hearts and you are out and you and you give them the loudest applause 6 minute ka bhi standing ovation de dete ho and after you come out you know you go back home koi friend puchta tha kya tha speech mein ha kya tha yaar there was nothing that's the power of delivery right so content and delivery two big elephants and as a speaker you plan to balance the both and speakers intelligent speakers like shiva there is a, there is one more guy uh, who wins a lot of humorous speech contests his name is funny bhagwan duvuri if you have already known him these guys they pick small small things and they play it to such an extent that you know you are bamboozled now how to not get bamboozled is what we'll see in the next slide <laughs> See, what is content so every speech has a logical argument in it right so speaker starts with one premise and ends at another right he says i was like this and i reached here you also can reach there right and if you have got soap opera artists they'll come i cried a lot next morning i got answer i cry every day baba i don't get answers so always try to evaluate the argument that the speaker is presenting don't attack his don't attack his premise don't attack his message attack the argument that's the logic there are you getting it attack the argument that the speaker is is giving okay the argument presented to the speaker the logical flow the depth of the argument and the examples that were presented try to attack this try to understand i mean when i say attack it doesn't always mean that you know you break it down even if that's a great speech okay try to understand try to evaluate if that is good okay you say it's good if it is going a little sir you will get you, i mean you all can get the ppt so don't take the trouble of you know taking snapshots please focus on what i'm saying i'm a speaker here so listen to me ye mil jayega aapko it's it's free on internet okay so ppt as it is free hai, okay so the argument presented by the speaker the logical flow of the argument so every speech there are only two kinds of speeches in this world one or or even cinema there are only two kinds of cinema two kinds of protagonists only exist one kind of protagonist is where you know he is happy go lucky with his life suddenly a girl comes or a girl is happy go lucky suddenly a guy comes bahumali bhi wahi tha na ladka bechara matlab he used to eat a lot obviously that's why he was able to grow such muscles so he used to eat कोई काम धंधा नहीं था कोई एस्केलेशन नहीं थे एज शिवा हैड प्रीवियसली देर वाज नो एस्केलेशन हैप्पीली दिस गाय यूज्ड टू जंप हियर देयर एवरीवेयर सडनली बिकॉज़ ही हैड नो प्रॉब्लम्स इन हिज लाइफ देयर वाज अ गर्ल हर प्रॉब्लम बिकेम हिज प्रॉब्लम मतलब अपना तो कोई एजेंडा था नहीं जिंदगी में तो जिनको मिलोगे उसकी प्रॉब्लम तो यू विल इनहेरिट नो दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स अदर सी हैरी पॉटर ही वाज आल्सो हैप्पी नो इन दैट स्टेयर केस के नीचे जो कपबोर्ड के बेडरूम था ही वाज हैप्पी देयर एट लीस्ट जिंदगी तो चल रही थी he never wanted to become something suddenly hagrid came right suddenly hagrid came no and then voldemort entered his life i am allowed to say that no or should i still say that you know the one who should be named or <laughs> we are allowed to say that okay so that's what so there are there is another type of it like shabash mitu dekha hai koi wo papsi tanu sorry tapsi pannu wala tha mai papsi tanu bol deta hu usko wo shabash mitu dekha hai kisne and nobody took that torture i understand only one guy okay what happens there is this girl has a burning desire in her life right from the start so there are only two types of people no i am not you know again don't get me wrong here i am not saying that boys won't have ambitions only girls have ambitions don't get me that there it's it's i mean just took two examples okay so there are only two types of protagonists one who has a burning desire to change the world 0.001% and the other 99.999% who are happy with their own lives and something happens and then they they get a goal in their lives right so in whatever story they are trying to tell you only two types of protagonists are there and both the protagonists they want to take you to one place where they say i have achieved it right nobody will say i have not achieved it and will will get down that that's a rahul gandhi wala category hai uh, you don't get there we don't really get there okay 
uh, I'm sorry if I'm using sex religion politics in a pejorative way. I did not really mean it, but many a times his speeches make me think like that. I don't have anything against it. Okay, so the argument is presented with the speaker, the logical flow, the depth of the argument. So when what happens when a speaker does this is he has a starting point, he has an ending point, he uses examples, he uses stories, he uses supporting material, everything that Shivarat said before, they try to use all that stuff to get there. Okay, and wo maya kya hai? you have to sit as an evaluator and understand. So, so look at the argument that's presented by him. And then, now, many a times what happens is people, I mean, again, the same Bollywood wala thing, they forgot that an audience exists, sir. I mean, they forgot that heroes, I mean, the Bollywood heroes, they forgot to connect to the audience because None of the stories is relatable, right? Now, now, why would it, I mean, for example, if I go to Lal Singh Chadda movie and I try to see it, how can I see a 60 year old man running in a college race? That's not relatable, yaar. At the end of the day, that's not relatable. And that's not my problem. Bollywood has shielded itself from everyday problems of Indians. That's where they are getting so many flops these days. See, those nepotistic stars only made a lot of money also here previously. Today, if they are not able to make money, that's because they have forgotten that there is an audience. who have, I mean, And those audience are aspirational. Those audience want something big in their lives. Right? So, relatability is the issue. Whenever a speaker is coming and talking to me, for example, I'll tell you, this point is because of my own struggle. I gave my Whatever speech worked for me before an Indian audience as a rat race, it did not work for me in, a, in front of an American audience. My judge was from Saudi Arabia. And he, I asked, I went to him. His name is Mohammed Katani. He was, you know, the world champion uh, a, a year before. So I went to him and said, because, you know, when the world champion is coming and sitting in your semi-final, you know that he's your judge. So the common sense of that. Otherwise, he doesn't know na, that Subbu is, okay. Itna, itna, itna jada bhi, you can't imagine about yourself. No? So I went to him and said, I know you are the judge. Tell me why did I fail? He said, See, you told me about the rat race, the numbers game in which all Indians are because, you know, ranks and all. I told all about that. So I, I was born into richness and I'm sure I'll die into richness. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Yeah? I, I have petrol. I have petrol under my house. He told me this and he said, we don't run after numbers. See, when you are sufficiently rich, no, you don't run after numbers. Arjun Kapoor, does anyone remember what was the last film? People don't remember, yaar. he also doesn't remember. The reason being, if you're Boni Kapoor's son, if Sri Devi is your stepmother, you'll have money here. So that's the, that's the point. So relatability, when you go and when, see, sometimes, imagine a boy coming and talking about, imagine the scene is BVRIT only, girls' college. A boy comes and talks about the troubles of pregnancy. Do you think the speech will, will fire at all with any judge or with anybody else? One is, you know that that fellow will never feel that pain in his life. <laughs> Boys are like, Yom pakareo, yaar. and girls will be like, what do you know about this subject? Right? So, relatability and relevance of the speech to the audience. Right? The next one is logic versus emotions. As I told before, you have to be logical in your speech. Many people think you can get away, that they can get away by talking about emotional content, you know, I struggled this, I struggled that, I slept in the night, morning I woke up tight, I got answers, why everybody sleeps in the night, but nobody gets answers in the morning. There would be a logical flow through which you got that answer, somebody, like, if nobody has slapped you on your face, life will come and slap you on your face. Right? And then you will learn something. So try whatever you are tell, tell, telling me in a speech, try to give logic behind it. And if the speaker has given good logic, appreciate him. Okay, don't get, as Indians, we go with emotions. That's our normal state of things. That's logical India that you get, you know. I mean, as much as this statement might sound oxymoronical, the logic in India is that you are emotional. Right? Otherwise, how do you explain Ekta Kapoor here in Indian sense? Right? So, 
please look at the logic of the speech please look at the relatability of the speech sometimes the speeches are so relatable to us for example bullying if that's a topic of the speech everybody in, in the audience would have been bullied at some point of time or the other bullying is a universal topic right many of us would have thought this is in my hand and suddenly it disappears you must have thought that you know this year i am winning this i am going to get that promotion and you must have lost it that's extremely relatable to everyone right these are universal topics why do you think pursuit of happiness is a universal film and no forget everybody wanting happiness at the end of the day people will watch that movie because there is happiness in the title but people will watch it again because they identify themselves with that suffering the struggle is real that struggle is real everyone everyone will you know everyone probably in this world would you know uh, get attached to that film those are universal movies now and there is a logical way in which the hero comes out it's not that he prays under a tree it's not that somebody will come and rescue him from his life it's that he gets pointers he works hard and pursuit of happiness tells all of us that we also can come out of that if we do that if we do what will smith does in that movie we will come out of the mess in our lives that's where it is relatable the struggle is real as team rahul says right thanks rahul for that message actually so logic versus emotions and somebody in a question they said in the previous session they made my life easier you know that you know uh, i i want to give a speech but but you know i'm afraid that you know if they if they listen to my speech they might relate to some instagram reel or some joke on facebook right you have uh, somebody said here authenticity of a speech so if you are listening to the speech and you feel you must have heard some wo wahi wahi wala flavor ka joke kahin pe aapne sun liya are you getting it you heard that flavor somewhere that's not authentic so that guy just you know camouflage the whole game there right so authenticity again sometimes you might be really hearing to some very very authentic content i once heard a speech by by a toastmaster called tm seravanan where he said yeah vikram is nodding his head you to have heard the speech so where he says tort turtles can fly so where he is a he doesn't even know till ninth class that he has to write his own exams he was studying in a government school and till ninth class they used to write the question paper and also the answer paper on the board in the government school true and in ninth and in ninth class suddenly the teacher says oh thank you yaar i never saw the green flag already the yellow has come up but that, that, that's okay uh that's okay i'm going to go over time today as usual yeah. so he says that you know uh, that was such a authentic content that i have never heard before in any humorous speech that you know he says till ninth class i never knew that i have to write my own exam and then today i am in microsoft now imagine the amount of learning that a guy would have had to take from his ninth till his btech in six years he transformed himself so authentic content when you hear it praise the authenticity in the content if you think you have heard the joke somewhere be very very candid okay and then memorability how many of you have heard how many of you know a man called dhananjay heterarchy what comes to your mind when you hear the word i see something in you i don't know what it is that's memorability of the speech okay if you see something very very memorable please do appreciate it right and there will be some thought provoking points again i'll go back to that speech for an example he says there are three kinds of tears that come out of women's eyes one one are the tears of pride tears of joy tears of sorrow and tears of helplessness ah huh? shame yeah helplessness shame yeah so those those are thought provoking points right if there are thought provoking points please say yes i mean please recognize them as i told you before evaluate the argument just because i told you all this don't evaluate the uh, the, the the message or the subject evaluate the argument of the speech again once again i'm trying to reiterate it never confront the idea only speak about the support system don't go on to the stage and say how dare you say this wo wo matlab feminist wale log ka hai matlab aaj kal wahi dekh raha hu okay how dare you say this in front of us okay now that's about the content part okay content all this is content i am not even talking about body language 
i am not talking about i mean uh, i am not talking about vocal variety i am not talking about transitions all this was content the logical argument presented in the speech now go to the presentation now you made a wonderful kheer and you serve it in a dust filled glass to me i will still have to put it in my mouth to understand the taste but by the looks of it i i mean i would really doubt your cooking skills or your hygiene skills right presentation is an extremely important part of a speech often used to mask the problems in content also yeah that's often used that's honest i'm being i'm being brutal here yaar i don't believe in you know sugar coating your neem ki goli neem ki goli hai neem ki goli kha le bhai khane wali mat dal usko right so presentation the way in which a speech is presented rrr how many of you seen rrr what's the story of rrr by the way how much of story do you see in rrr next to none that's what i would say because of little next girl next to none yaar yes or no it's yes. next to none but look at the presentation i mean when when the tiger comes out to junior and yaar i was like kha jayegi yaar isko that's how will it was presented the first time when you are using looking at those visuals right and the first time you are seeing the torture ka episode that's there in the movie rajmouli is an expert at at masking the content of presentation bahubali honestly how much of story was there in that rare to find but then look at the presentation you look at you look at that fellow carrying shiva on his shoulders and you are like wow the rudraksh is like that you know he has a rudraksh on hand how many of us wear rudraksh on hand now how did he get that rudraksh there in the midst of that forest and why does it break it when i mean see if if you uh, people who go to gym you expand your muscle on a daily basis not when you lift shivalinga right yes or no but then he showed it and that was the only time the muscle expanded and we were all like wow that's what typically in doing presentation i'm telling you so the presentation is the part where it's presented the way it is presented you have got to evaluate the structure of the i mean now again when we are talking about presentation you have to i mean it's not just body language and vocal variety many people obfuscate presentation saying that it's always body language and vocal variety no it's about the transitions also it's about how he is moving across the story sometimes the content might be very powerful but the, i mean but the editing might be so bad that you know you suddenly see a black screen on the uh, uh, how many of times did you see this in a movie where suddenly a scene gets cut there is a quick refresh on the screen and the next scene starts bad transition here same is the case with stories in a speech also where the guy would have simply jumped from one story to another right so look at the transition sometimes the transitions are so smooth dhananjay hetrarchy speech we never know that he has moved from his uh, childhood to the adolescence to to a place where he is working for a job and every because every time he is doing a transition you know indirectly he invokes that same line and he moves on to the next place and none of us know it that's a wonderful way to make a transition so so how he is doing the transitions and again as shiva said i would really like to borrow the point from his uh, presentation uh, with his permission that you have got the speaker has got to give an idea of where he is taking you it is not ram gopal varma for for sure we are not watching him there so the speaker has so how quickly is the speaker getting to the point you have got to evaluate so how would i do the speech evaluation if i am doing i would take an a4 sheet the top half is for content okay there will be a small box where i write where where i leave it for transitions next part next box is for uh, uh how quickly does he get to the point there is a very small line i'll just look at the time how quickly did i get a sense of where i'm going and then language sometimes speakers use wonderful language ever heard pratima madridi speeches look at her language there are not i mean she doesn't use great vocabulary but whatever she uses in her speech you don't need dictionary to understand it 
she uses good words but she also ensures that you know in the context you get that word that's a wonderful use of language and most of the times in her speeches when you look at it prima madridi particularly because i i i contested a lot of times with her and you know when you are a co contestant you really i mean if you are if you are contesting along with that person you really look at all the good points in their speeches because you know you are like okay is she getting more points for this or not right so uh, the way she uses and or, or even chandrashekar dp if you have, if you ever get to hear to chandrashekar dp speeches uh, there is another lady called lasya madridi if you ever get to hear her speeches you need a dictionary though uh, because you know she she uses some words which only she knows but still in the context they'll still be there okay her name is lasya madridi if you want to really you know there are two madridis who i spoke of just now and then there is one wonderful man called rajshekar mamidan people laugh at his jokes people laugh at everything but i am but i am a big fan of his english he i mean he he has so much colloquiality he has so much mother tongue influence in his speeches but have you ever heard rashekar mamidan make a grammatical mistake has any even heard so these are all tms from hyderabad there is another man called chandrashekar dp which is a combination of all this he can do he can pull off anything anywhere so i i mean so these are i mean we are all I, and again i would request as an evaluator to go a little soft on this particular point because we are non native english speakers we have our own mother tongue and there will be a mother tongue influence so when you are doing this part try to tell them that you know how they can slightly get rid of their mother tongue influence when they are talking if they if if they have made any mistakes over there uh this is an area where you can score points also because most of us have some issues or the other with the english so probably if you can correct a thing or two in english that would be of great help and then again as i told you uh, uh voice modulation somebody was asking um somebody had a question in the previous session i don't know your name sir but uh, he said what if people are not laughing at my jokes um there was one small assignment which my high school teacher gave to me when we were doing drama in high school that was in 1998 so forget uh forget mics also forget enhancing the speech using technology there was nothing all you had was a stage okay and if your school has got 200 300 fellows they have got to sit quite far off also so so he told me imagine there is a guy sitting in the class row and you have an unpleasant visitor at your house how do you handle it how does that fellow know that the the unexpected visitor at your house whoever is there you are you really don't want him to come okay let me let me uh, put it in a better way imagine a girl getting married she moves to her husband's place friday evening she is not working friday evening she says, she says we'll go out come early from office the husband doesn't come on the first friday she accommodates second time she is angry but still okay yaar yeah. third time fourth time finally the third time she makes the husband know that you know marriage ke liye kuch ho jayega if you are not coming on time next week now this fourth week the husband has indeed come home early they planned for a movie at 6 o'clock on friday evening the husband is home at 4 at 4:30 or or quarter to 5 there is a friend of hers who lives in the same city and that girl comes home husband is getting ready the girl is already ready okay now this friend jo bhi saheli hai she is coming at quarter to 5 and these guys are supposed to leave by 5 how do you how would you act this this was the assignment How would you act? In body language, you can say, "Oh, you come." Yeah. You can do something like this. Third row, fourth row, fellow will understand. How will the last row fellow understand that you are not happy that the fellow has come to your house? See, if someone comes to my house and say, "Oh, yeah, come, please come," even the last fellow understands that I am happy that that fellow has come. Right? Now, if somebody comes and, "Oh, you yeah, come, come," that fellow thinks. why is this fellow talking like this right that's voice modulation speakers would do this speakers would do this try to identify why the voice is moving up and down you are an evaluator bloody you should be better than the speaker i'm telling you are you getting it why did i do this example was all because i wanted to you to know that a speaker can do this 
Are you getting it? Did you catch a second time? The, the friend will understand. Why is this girl acting weird? And the last fellow in the troll also will understand. Why did that fellow change the voice there? Try to identify the voice modulation. Sarcasm. You can show the, the best using voice than even body language. Try to identify those points. And if there is a point where you can think that the, the speaker could have used sarcasm, use it there. Okay? We'll move on. Did I miss any point on the previous slide? Yeah. Uh, transitions, I've already spoken. So you are, uh, I know all of you are going through pathways, but I would honestly recommend everyone to download CC2 to CC6 manuals, read them to understand how these things are done and use them as a part of the feedback. Okay. So please try to download those manuals. All of them are free on internet so you can get them. And how did the delivery complement the speech? At the end of the day, content is the king. End of the day, come what may, content is the king. In all our offices, offices, we have that one techie nerd whom we know is an important guy for the project. And then we have this affable close manager whom we know that he is important, but not as important as that guy. Got it? So the nerd is your content without whom the project will you know, tank. And yeah, you need the manager also because he keeps the things going. No? So content always is the king. Delivery always complements it. Remember, delivery is always complementary. Okay. Okay. Now you might ask, Sarji, you took one hour to tell this. Will I get one hour to tell to, you know, give my evaluation? You won't. For God's sake, you won't. Then how do you handle it? Uh, Manikanta ji, you need not take notes. This is available, sir. You can focus here. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, how do you? How do I, I slice my time if I, if I was an evaluator? As I told you before, uh, uh, okay, uh, the first, I mean, how, okay, as an evaluator, how many people do you have in the audience? There is a, the, 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 the fellow who has given the target speech. So he is the only guy in the audience. Right? So what you should do? You have got to connect to that fellow only. So how would you connect to that fellow? Eye contact. Eye contact. That's hygiene factor. That's hygiene factor, okay? Uh, it's like, you know, when you go to an examination hall, you are supposed to read the question paper properly. That's hygiene factor. So that's not, that's not, uh, so that's, not that's not even an answer. Authentically listening to speech. Attentively listening to speech. Uh, Meno, who is this? Who gave the answer? This, this is Srinivas Rao. Authentically listening to the speech. Uh, sir, that's also a hygiene factor. Sir. Okay. Because you are supposed to, if you are an evaluator, you are supposed to listen to that speech. For the six minutes or eight minutes, whatever it is, you are supposed to listen to that speech. We'll say we understood his speech. You will say you understood his speech. That's also expected, no? Tell me something above expected behavior here. All on. Bring up something. They said your good name, sir. Varun. So, yeah. Anybody else? Delivery. Delivery. Sir, can you be a little clearer? Delivery will mean many things. How? how we already how have speech? Amazon customer service guy here also. The, the, delivery how, the speech, the how the speech was delivered and it was accepted by the audience. Sir, sir, that that will you will obviously will have to say, you will have to say about it at some point of time. But I am saying, how would you connect to your audience? Who is the speaker? Sir, uh, can we quote a line Message? from this from the mess? Yeah, from the speech. Fantastic. Yeah, Kalpita Benerji. Thank, thanks for this answer. Yeah, yeah you again, you again. Uh, you know, uh, if reaffirm my assumption that Bengalis are more, you know, brainy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, see, if I am a speaker, I have delivered a speech and imagine TM Manikanta or Aditya or Fani, anyone who is, um, or, or Kahera, if, if any one of these people is evaluating, I would want to know where I made an impact to them or where I, where I made a connection with them, right? So when you listen to a seven minute speech, since you're all intelligent people, 
you would understand one point where the speech touched you it's at, at one point the speech would definitely touch you now pick that point because then you need not act on the stage then when you get on to the stage you need not tell pragya pragya you know you wonderful speech she also knows ki bhai soap aa rahi hai bahut jhag aa raha hai she also will know that right tell about that one point where it connected to you start with that point right for example if i go back to tananjay hetrarchy speech if i would ever get to evaluate a speech of his or if i ever get to evaluate i have it uh, 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 the speech so all i would start with is you know what i really connected to that mother episode because there were times when my mother had tears in, in her eyes because she was worried about me. you know you connect to that one point prigya i know you are uh, i'm going out of time but please bear with me <laughs> yeah okay so start with that point so that's where i'm saying connect and comment so you connect for the first 30 seconds with that one particular point that actually connected you to that speaker's speech then you need not see when you pick up an honest point right you need not invent stuff you need not act stuff on stage you will be your own self and that will make your life so much easier you need not put pressure on yourself okay the way you are putting pressure on yourself to listen to me right okay and connect and comment so you make your commendations next then you'll make your recommendations and in the end you would summarize how would we do that connect and comment so there is an animation here have a good opening if you have a quote open it with a quote if you don't have a quote don't create a quote okay but definitely if you have a quote open with a quote okay connect to the speaker good things about the speech and then in the comment commendation part good things about the speaker he is on stage connect with the audience etc whatever good you have found there the most important point is the two letters that are there in the penultimate line of the slide okay which says avoid flattery now if charan comes here and he gives a speech and i am like charan this is a one of the very good speeches yaar this happened with the Uh, you know, uh, I I saw a lot of speeches. I have seen a lot of uh, CC ones or CC twos, but this one speech stands out. Probably you give the speech again with some improvements. Sharon will be like, okay, this fellow has spoken some sense. What's your name? Okay, if Abhinaya comes and gives a CC one speech, I say, Abhinaya, this is a very very interesting speech. You know what? I have been to Toastmasters for ten years. Ah, uh, this is a very very good speech. Ah, uh, probably you can um, try it in the. Uh, area contest also this time. I am sure if you give this speech, you will win the club level contest. I mean, I will still be like, okay, yar. Chalo, some confidence is there at least. This guy. What is your name, man? Yeah. Now, if Spurti comes and gives a speech, and if I say, Spurti, ten years in Toastmasters, I have never seen a speech like this. You are the champion. <laughs> Spurti knows he fake way, boy. Spurti knows that I am faking it, no? Right. many a times we do this mistake that you know sometimes even for very bad speeches i am not saying bad speech in the sense no sometimes there, there are a lot of areas of improvement in a speech and you still listen to that speech and you know that you are going to hit hard in the recommendations part you go you you do some amount of flattery because you know baad mein to main maarne wala hu avoid that because if you do any flattery here your audience because they know that you have faked here they know that you are going to fake in the recommendations also that's take another you know, common sense yaar though it's quite uncommon but that's common sense so don't do too much of flattery here okay if there is only one good thing in the speech try to be as sincere as possible and say when i look at this speech this is one good aspect i have seen in that speech and if there are 10 good things in that speech you say to be honest i am not flattering you but yes there are xyz very good points in the speech but don't do flattery flattery is a food for fools and fools don't join toastmasters i mean fool hota to saturday kyun barbaad karta hai why would he be here okay that's what it is so we don't have fools in toastmasters okay so avoid flattery speak about things that went well and 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 we indians are very good at flattery have you seen your moms when your cousins come home unke samne matlab they are the best and once they go they are the worst hota hai na gharon mein i am not saying about moms only in particular but it happens with any people uncles aunts 
when they are there one behavior when they go off another behavior pata hai na bhai let us be honest don't do that okay no if you are good in commendations if you are sincere in commendations and what how will what all you will comment content and presentation parts only you will comment that will help you in the recommendations that is going to help you here because here be as candid as you can be don't think unless it's a cc1 speech or a cc2 speech means all first or second speech in the path if you are doing any other evaluation for god sake be sincere if it is bad tell this is bad tell this has gone wrong tell that this has gone wrong people will understand we are not handling gaveliers here if you think an 18 year old can't handle criticism in this world 18 plus then we are living in la la land or we are living in some sort of utopia do you think that fellow did not write an mset did you do you think that fellow has not written one common entrance test and gone through the pressure cooker and come here if he has handled that pressure you are like what yaar you and your evaluation are are like what for him if that fellow handled four viva sessions 12 practicals uh and then he is handling his boss and a, a normal standard wala girlfriend do you think you are going to make an impact you are going to drive him bonkers no so be as kind as possible okay don't be hesitant to call a spade a spade most importantly don't drop your enthusiasm particularly boys if you are chasing girls you know what happens when you give feedback to a girl about an area of improvement for her when you are in a relationship your hands are down you won't even make eye contact bhai really ek hai yaar usko kahan bhaga dete yes or no no this is an indian psyche we are not confident when we are talking about bad things have you ever seen a manager looking into your eyes and giving you areas of improvement in your appraisal discussion when they can't do it it's tough for you also you will also eventually get there don't drop your enthusiasm be the strong man you were a strong woman you were when you were giving uh, commendations okay offer specific practical and helpful feedback and if i were you if i am giving a recommendation i would enact on the stage and show okay evaluate the speech not the speaker okay the honesty and sincerity you project in the first one and a half minute must help you here if you are honest there they are going to listen to you here also summarize now plan this very well um the moment you see a red card don't be like me don't go over time uh what happens is uh any joggers here any runners joggers anyone here what happens after you run for 20 minutes you get a runners high if your 3 minutes have gone well you'll get a speaker's high you will try to invent new things now because your comment your connect went well your commendations went well okay your recommendations also went well now your mind will say yaar try something new you are already high no don't fall for that high okay with girlfriend or speech you should know your borders 3 minutes is a border okay and the third minute start summarizing and say i summarize don't try new imagine what happens when your date went extremely well you will do something heroic that would ruin your whole date right no don't try heroic now yaar right i don't know how what women do because you know i am biologically challenged to understand that stuff right so the moment you see a red flag say the word summarize it has got points on your ballot okay when you look at your ballot summary has point imagine a district level judge Who is delivering ten evaluations of one speech? If you are under pressure, that fellow is boiling. He is hearing. He has. He also heard one speech. He is hearing tenth evaluation now. अब वो बंदा सोचेगा summarize आ. I heard summary. Summary तो कुछ बोला होगा. कुछ तो नंबर देगा वो करेगा. समझ रहे हो? Use the word summarize. Okay. Again, summary में start with a positive thing, go to a negative thing, and again close it properly. don't start anything new 
and if you have an acronym if you are chandrashekar dp you can use an acronym he invents an acronyms on the spot if you can invent use it if you can't borrow it but don't mess it okay and on a high by commending the speaker okay got it then you say 3 minutes only yaar two positive points if it gives you scope use three okay but don't go beyond three just because the speech has good points again everyone wants to recommend too much things after you write no you'll get five minutes in a contest in those five minutes think as to points which nobody else would pick don't pick the obvious ones right and two areas of improvement and one to two points that made you connect to the speech that's how you plan it that's how you phrase it again you are not an english literate doc i mean you are not a doctorate you are not you are not the judge you are an evaluator not the judge so keep using i words in my opinion because that gives you an anticipatory bail are you getting it use i words in my opinion i feel so this is what i think because you might be wrong the moment you say i feel so subject to correction because i felt it that's not written on stone are you getting it so i felt that in summary to summarize in my analysis my recommendations are okay so use your i words so evaluating a speech in a club read the manual before reach out to the speaker beforehand some speakers have specific concerns for example when i was uh, improving myself as a speaker i used to look a lot down so speakers might have specific concerns so ask for that if you know the you are the evaluator don't become never ever volunteer to be the evaluator on the day of the club meeting connect to the speaker before learn from them and try to relate to their previous speeches and uh, for example if you are evaluating a fifth speech in a manual understand how the previous speeches went talk to those evaluators and see if there are areas where they can uh, uh, you know improve the last one is evaluating at a contest make an impact at the beginning make an impact at the end pick up a point point with the speech find a crisp statement if that if that i mean, i've covered all these ones already i have an introductory statement ready analytical quality recommendations technique summation are the four areas on which you are going to be judged analytical quality i think is for almost 40 marks there so try to be very very clear on that recommendations again a big chunk there so i told you how to make recommendations technique be sympathetic they give you marks if you are sympathetic but that's only 15 points okay i i'm sure none of you would shout on the on the on the bechara fellow who has given that 7 minutes of talk so you will you will score points there you you will obviously be sympathetic and summation i told you right say summary you will get some points there okay evaluating at a contest all the tips and tricks i discussed before are with respect to contest only think those 5 minutes which you get after you have written your notes at least one two minutes to think what will make your evaluation unique think of points which no one would actually pick okay and focus on the depth of the speech not on the breadth of the speech everybody would go by the breadth you look at 10 evaluations or eight evaluations they'll tell about stage usage 10 evaluations they'll talk about voice modulation 10 8 10 evaluations eight evaluations will talk about stage arrangement right think go beyond the obvious yaar go beyond the obvious okay that's it uh if if the time permits any question and answers i'll first take from the uh, people who are listening to this on uh, virtually so any questions you have any questions okay anybody from offline yes varun points which are not obvious so how do you suggest you can what are ways in which you can pick up points which are not obvious uh, content when you look at content content is something which people don't pick normally people are evaluate uh, in my experience last 10 years i would have seen more than 100 evaluations 80% of them did not go with content so look at content you will have more i mean you will you will pick up points which nobody has picked yeah That's a very very bad set to make. Let me be very honest. There will be positive points. There will be. You will have to look hard. 
and if you want to look at speeches that have that seem to not have any negative points if you want to practice there is vikram chandra okay uh, uh, there is a toastmasters uh, you know this toastmaster conference happens take 120 dollars from your pocket and buy one convention you will get 100 speeches right from 10 uh, all all semi final speeches you get in that go to the speeches the semi final speeches listen to each speech and start looking for negative ones you are basically evaluating a district champions isc speech if you can find negative there you can find negative in any speech okay so that problem is solved now go to youtube go and look at cc one speeches which you can upload if you can see positives there you will find positive in any speech any speech will not cross these two boundaries you are sign wave in the middle these two are the extremes i have given you the extremes now you know how to practice thank you for asking this question yeah please can you help me on that i am very bad at this Oh, no, it's not. So, it's not. That's Akhilesh, Arun Akhilesh. Okay. Oh. Uh, any anybody uh, from the Zoom call who has any questions? Evaluation speech can be given by anyone, right? Like the ones who joined recently, who yeah. didn't even give. You pay your paper. you pay your fee due today. Tomorrow you can be an evaluator. No, that's as simple yeah. as that. I, I'm not joking here. I'm pretty serious. You pay your fee due today. Tomorrow you can join the evaluation contest. any other questions okay thanks for being a wonderful audience thank you very much thanks for the opportunity thank you dtm subramaniam for that enriching segment i think we had a lots of learning about how to do evaluation and what to evaluate may i please now call upon uh, uh, toastmaster sandeep our program quality director to please present the Presentation. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Pragya, for inviting me. I would like to invite uh, Toastmaster Charan, uh, Toastmaster Akilesh, and Toastmaster Shivraj onto the dais to present the role play certificates to the uh, people who helped us in this session today. Firstly, I would like to invite Toastmaster Apneya for playing the role of timer. Very glad to get my certificate by my mentor. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster Shiva. Now I'd like to invite Toastmaster Anjali for playing the role of Sergeant at Arms. Now I'd like to invite Toastmaster Sporty for playing the role of Sergeant at Arms. Thank you, Toastmaster Charan. Thank you, Toastmaster Akilesh, and thank you, Toastmaster Shivraj, for presenting the certificates. Now, we'd like to invite uh, Club Growth Director, Distinguished Toastmaster Vikram, onto the dais. Now, we'd like to invite Toastmaster Shivraj for presenting such a wonderful session on humorous speech. Come, come here. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now I would like to invite K V Subramaniam for presenting a session on evaluation. <laughs>
thank you to Master Sandeep for presenting all the certificates. Uh, in lieu of time, as it's already 5.30, if any of you has any prior commitments, you can take a leave from the session. Anyone who would want to wait and practice evaluation, you will have 10 more minutes to stay and present your evaluation. We will display a video to you and then you can uh, get a chance to evaluate that particular video in case you wish to. Thank you everyone for joining us today with this District 126 Human Speech and Evaluation Contest Training on how to perform all these two. I hope you all had amazing experience learning the tits and bits of how you can do better and looking forward to having all of you as contestants in the contest season coming soon. With this, I would now call upon the Sergeant at Arms for today to adjourn the meeting. Thank you, Toastmaster Pragya. Hello, everyone. I'm very thankful to you for being here and uh, for being a great audience. Thanks to uh, Toastmaster Subramaniam, sir, Toastmaster Shivaraj for wonderful insights and on how humorous speech and uh, evaluations can be delivered. Hope you have discovered new ways of how speeches and evaluations can be delivered. Thanks for being part of this meeting. With this, I now declare this meeting ended. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. So thank you, everyone uh, who's here. We will now be displaying a video. And we'll be having two evaluators over here who will be coming and delivering an evaluation. And our DTM Subramaniam will be letting us know how they could have performed better into it. So it might be an extra area of learning for all of you who want to be here. And uh, please write your feedbacks in the form that has been shared. Contestant number one, Guan Yu Yang, Fortune Cookie, Fortune Cookie, Guan Yu Yang. My mama always said life is like a box of fortune cookies <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get ladies and gentlemen fellow toastmasters elvis presley <laughs> contest chair Have you ever received a fortune? <laughs> My mama always said Life is like a box of fortune cookies. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, Elvis Presley, <laughs> contest chair. Have you ever received a fortune cookie 
that was full of bad advice. <laughs> yeah, my life was like a box of fortune cookies, full of bad advice. You see, I was a little Chinese boy growing up in Australia, and knowing what advice to take was like mixing soya sauce and tomato sauce. <laughs> they don't match. You see, I was this little boy, and when I should have been outside playing, Tiger Mum had me locked up studying. <laughs> and as a college student, when I should have been home studying, I was outside playing. <laughs> All my life, it was hard for me to know what piece of advice I should take. And then one day, I took my best friend Andy's advice. He said to me, "Quang, quit your job in Australia and let's move to China." You see, in China, that's where it's all happening. That's where the money's at. I got friends. I got family. I got connections. We can start our own business. We can run a factory. We can even sell fake American goods. <laughs> and we'll sell them to Americans. To me, that sounded great, and the next thing I knew, I was off on a plane to China. And as you can see, China on this stage is really far away. <laughs> But when I finally got here, I went straight into the countryside, straight into a factory, and straight into digging coal. You see, my best friend Andy said to me, "All the greatest CEOs of our time started from the bottom." Digging coal and shoveling it into a furnace at five dollars a day, definitely the bottom. I did this for four months. It took me four months before my brain switched on and said, "What on earth was Andy thinking? Was he crazy? Two college students digging coal and shoveling it into a furnace." So I wanted to get out, but the problem was I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Should I go back to Australia? Should I stay in China? Should I invent a machine that could actually dig coal? <laughs> so what I did next was I went around and I asked all the people I knew because the fact was I couldn't trust myself. And I asked my family, friends, relatives. I asked my uncle, and he said, "Guang, go back to Australia." I asked my entrepreneur friend, and he said, "Guang, start your own business." And I asked my girlfriend, and she said, "Kwong, go away." <laughs> Again, I was getting all these pieces of conflicting advice, and I didn't know what to do. And then a friend of mine said, "Kwong, why don't you go see a fortune teller?" <laughs> fortune teller, fortune cookies, Fortune 500, nothing to lose. So there I went, went off to the markets, down the alley, around the street, in front of an old man who claimed to be a fortune teller. I told him my problem, and he said, "Well, he took my hands first, and he said, 'You see this line? That's your career line. Very short.'" <laughs> and you see this line? That's your brain line. Short also. <laughs> And you see all these lines that crisscross your hands? Yeah, that's where I am right now. Each line represents a different opportunity, and it's crisscrossing, going in different directions. And that's why I don't know where I want to go. Moisturize more. Since when was fortune telling skincare advice? <laughs> And that's when it dawned on me that the answer was in my hands. You see, nobody could moisturize my hand, but me. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. And <laughs> and nobody could keep my hands dry and rough like me. 
See, when I went around asking people, and asking people, what did I want in life? It was like pulling their hands across and saying, what am I going to do in life? What job do I want? What am I passionate about? How would they know? The answer was with me. The problem was, I just didn't trust myself. And isn't it easier to go blame others than to blame? That's when I took my life back into my own hands. I quit that job in the factory. I didn't go back to Australia and I didn't go start a business. I looked at what I really wanted in life and I just wanted a flexible job that would give me the time and the energy to do the things I love, like public speak, entertain, and to do sports. That was the key. And I didn't tell you that day when I left the fortune teller, he gave me a tube of moisturizing cream <laughs> and a fortune cookie. And when I broke open the fortune cookie, the message was blank. Best piece of advice I ever got. <laughs> the answer for me and the answer for you is not in a fortune cookie or with some fortune teller. It's not within his hands, her hands, or anybody else's hands. Trust yourself. The answer is in your hands. present online i hope you have heard through the speech and now three of the evaluators uh, in the physical space they'll be coming and presenting uh, their evaluation on the speech that has been shared here so the contestants over here are uh, ready with their evaluation speeches may i please call contestant number 1 toastmaster varun to present his speech The open shared it and quoted it, misquoted as Elvis. That was a catchy line. I really like that. Good opening, and that caught my attention. The theme throughout your speech, which I really connected with, was going to multiple people for advice. And in your case, you followed it up. I emphasized with I empathized with that because till the age of 21, I personally went running around helter skelter for advice and following it. You had used humor creatively throughout your speech to emphasize the same point. That is only you can moisturize your own hands as effectively as you can. No one else can do it for you. What I did like about your speech and that stood out very much common that stood out a lot was the use of good humor, particularly the use of stage presence saying, I went from Australia to China and you walked all the way. That was a good point and I like that. And humor is something I'd like to commend you on in general. Using humor and then deviating it towards serious point to drive a point home. These are the two points that I really like. On the point of improvement, it's kind of a double-edged sword when you stick to using humor. I thought there were too many jokes with just one message. How many times will you say the same thing that only you can use your own advice? That was something that I thought was something that would be improved on your next speech. Following up with that, at the end, you concluded by saying only you can moisturize your own hands, but you didn't take it on further. You talked about the disadvantages that you had you taken some time out from the jokes and spoken about how improving, you know, how not listening to advice and listening to your own self made an impact in your life. I think that would have elevated the speech to your next level. I will summarize by saying that you use humor effectively and you also did stage presence well. The recommendation would be to tone down the humor a little bit and talk about the flip side of what you yourself were advocating for. All in all, I loved it and thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Varun. May I now have the second Toastmaster deliver his evaluation, Toastmaster Shashank. Uh, firstly, 
like i i tell considering the time i couldn't structure my evaluation but i i really love to t- uh, tell few points which i have noticed in his speech and uh, the first one was that he started off with a joke like which really which was which really caught my attention personally and then uh, throughout throughout his speech uh, there was very good humor and uh, i had i had i had observed him using uh, some rhetorical devices like uh, simile where he told where he compared uh, tomato sauce and soya sauce with some situation which was which which like painted a picture in my mind and uh, he had also told uh, tiger mom like uh, which was which was painting an image in my mind and uh, then and then he he uh, he posted a joke regarding american boots and americans so if there are any audience in the americans so that they can they can easily relate uh, to that is what i have observed and uh, coming to the recommendations i have observed there there was a lot of stage movement and which i personally felt distracting and uh, firstly uh, i i also felt i also felt the relatability factor wherein wherein what if what if a, like in india in india as as of as of my knowledge in india we never use the term fortune cookie or a fortune seller kind of uh, stuff so uh, yeah that was kind of not relatable to me and yes uh, this is what i have okay <laughs> i i will be the host myself and i'll be the next evaluator i would say for next year exactly advice 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 everywhere that is what i connected instantly when i heard your speech because that is what i have been brought up with few things which i absolutely loved about your speech was the humor that was sprinkled beautifully throughout the speech you also had focused how important and how varied advices do we get all across and that is why i remembered the advices that i have got since my childhood also you had showed vivid imagery when you showed that the stage was as far as china and when you showed how selling to americans would look selling their own goods so these were the few things which absolutely caught my attention and connected me directly to your speech what i also loved about your speech was that it was easy to understand and it took me through a journey of my own life when in at a point of time i had to decide where i want to take my life and that nobody else can do it for me so after going to these amazing areas that i you have, we have connected with you in your particular speech they always say that you can make your life better every single day and similarly we can always make our speeches better every single time let me add my areas when i feel you can take the speech to the next level first thing that instantly got me hooked was once you were told told about a particular advice or when you said that the person was seeing your hand and talking about your brain line and all what exactly was going in your mind what were the thoughts behind it or what was the impact that whole situation was having on you why did you feel why did you get that idea that it is no one else but only me who will decide it second thing which really kept me questioning was that when you saw that blank cookie note what was that idea that ran through your mind because it was blank there must have been some instant thought that you would have connected to there would have been some push that you would have got from inside if you could have showed that exact idea or that push that you got probably next time when i am in such a situation where i am not able to decide what to do i might use the same idea to take that step forward the way you did in your own life and designed last but not the least to summarize i would say 
that you had done great job when it is about vivid imagery, when sprinkling humor and connecting on the very subtle topic, which is a part of most of the people's life. Just adding the impact that you had at various levels when you were taking that shift of not taking the advice, but realizing of why you were the sole maker of it. I think that would leave me with a message which I can take forward in my journey of not taking advice or probably being able to decide exactly which advice to take. Looking forward to seeing you as an amazing speaker with these areas. Thank you, over to you. So I would now, uh, we also have one person from the online space who wanted to deliver. Yeah, Meena, can you please deliver your evaluation? Thank you, Toastmaster Pragya. I'm sorry, I won't be able. I'm sorry? Are you able to hear me? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, just, just give me one second. Okay, I'll just... just... Sorry. Ask me to join camera. Yeah. Uh, Meena, can you please turn on your camera if it's possible for you? Um, currently, I wouldn't be able to. Sorry for that. No, no. Is problem. it okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Please, uh, you can continue. With Thank you, Toastmaster Pragya. Toastmaster Yang, I could instantly connect that I have got a couple of advices when I'm the verge of with confusion. What am I supposed to do next? And only thing even I was left with is I should take the decision. And that was clearly evident from your speech as well. The very first thing I liked in your speech is the humor. The way you told, your girlfriend told, go away. I could not stop laughing at this end. And the way the fortune teller told you, the, the line of your job and brain line is very short. These instances and the right pauses you had had kicked in great humor in your speech. What I also liked about your speech is the transitions that, that you had. Things like, um, uh, you know, my, my mind spoke when you went to China, you were doing, you had a job and it was an odd job and you had to bring the transition to get back to what you have to do next. And that one transition you told, my mind spoke. So you had a great transition. And what I also liked about your speech is the picturization that you created. The, when you broke the cookie, you had a message that is a blank message. So it's for the people to understand what they have to do and things lie in their hands. What one thing I can suggest you is uh, two points of improvement. You told it's public speak, hobbies and public speak. Uh, it is public speaking and hobbies. And suggestion is you told the fortune teller gave you two moisturizers along with the cookie. So for me, it left a dangling question. What was the importance of those two moisturizers that you got? So that was a kind of a dangling question I had as an audience. So to sum it up, you have great humor, great picturization, great storytelling, great transition. And thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Pragya. Yeah, thank you, Meena. Uh, so in the interest of time, I'll take over from Toastmaster Pragya and deliver the uh, feedback to all the evaluators. Okay, so... How many of you actually thought you were focusing on the content? I'm asking this question to the audience. How many of you think that the evaluators actually focused on the content of the speech? And uh, how, okay, just give me a rough number. Two of them. So what was the focus on content uh, that was there? Uh, can we have Pragya and Sandeep here because she was also a speaker, right? Pragya, can you walk in? Okay. Uh, anybody from the, uh, uh, who is attending this meeting virtually, if you can tell me, uh, if you have seen people actually talking about content in this, uh, uh, in this, uh, in these evaluations that have been just done. How much of, Focus was there on the logical argument that was given in the speech. How many of you think the evaluators even touched it? Either in the commending tone or on the recommending tone. 
ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಸರ್ ಅಭಿನಯ ಅಭಿನಯ ಯುಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಸೊ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟಚ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯೇಟ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಥಾಟ್ ದ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ do you think the realization was really quick a fortune teller you go, you go pay so how many of you think you can replicate whatever he told in the speech in your own lives yeah it is extremely relevant i i get that the speech topic is is, is extremely relevant every one of us has that problem but this is this is where this is where i am asking you to please go back and practice on the content so when you go back home today after this session if you get to attend a speech again if you go back and listen to similar speeches and see if those stories are making sense i was if i were an evaluator i would have said this i felt that the realization same came so quickly probably you should have cut down on the humor portion and given time in understanding how you got to the realization because almost till 4 to 4 and 1/2 minutes up till the 5th minute in the speech he was still confused and suddenly in the 5th minute the realization comes and 6th minute it's over right how many of you felt that there was a quicker sentence a breathless sentence that was spoken in the speech was it understandable was it understandable for a normal speaker do you think if you are a speech giver would you give a speech at that pace how many of you felt there was a wonderful body language when he actually tried to show that he was actually putting coal in the in the what what furnace oven so these are the points so every one of you have picked points which are good i am not discounting any evaluator here all of you have picked good points now go back for yourself and think why you did not pick these points which i listed if you look at it these were the points that were see humor was something everybody picked up so if i were an evaluator i would say humor was there and that actually had added to the speech that's it 10 seconds gone done me aage nikal jaunga wo train chhut gayi bhai sab log yahi pakad rahe you have got to pick something which no one is picking the what was the first story let us break down the speech i'll take just 5 minutes and then i'll leave this what was the first story meena can you tell me what was the first story in the speech because you are an evaluator um he was in australia and what was he whether he want to take up entrepreneurship he was a bit confused over there he was confused in australia that was the first story okay now what was the second story shashank he went to china what was the second story what was the second story okay meena what was the second story so he went to china and he took up a business that is giving him 5 dollars per day which was no way close to the real i mean the dreams he had what was the story as yes, he went to china he was working in a field he was digging yeah. and pouring coal right okay then what was the third story like um, yeah fortune teller was a third story and then and then comes a moisturizer moisturizer part and then comes the realization what was the realization and how did the realization come that nobody else can moisturize yeah what a black what a fortune to be the black people actually for me uh, i was listening there were two areas where it targeted that we got the realization but did not clarify one was nobody else can moisturize my Uh-huh. and then he said i got gain got a fortune cookie which was blank and i thought oh i only have to try whatever i want to do the fortune cookie will not tell me so for me that was two uh, that was an area of improvement right yeah that is what i why into tell it you know 
you said you would have to i i remember you in your revelation you did not tell this right in the revelation you said that you should have told me what was in your mind when you saw that blank okay uh, ंग्स so one thing that went very very well in the speech obviously was humor obviously was uh the crate of the speech when he changed it based on various things the modulation when he brought when he was talking to his girlfriend there is completely different strain of voice that you get to hear when he is talking to his girlfriend the body the excellent body language he showed when he was showing and all so these are all the good points now what are the two good points that nobody picked that is something that you will have to look into and the transitions were extremely smooth the transition to china was distracting that was a very nice point that you picked because you need not walk till china what if the stage is not that that long how would i do it if i have to do it on the stage will i walk till there and now imagine a stage which is this big i'll have to strain my uh, neck boss to just see you sorry okay so that that would have so what are the areas of improvement for me one thing was that was so impact Idea share what what actually made him change or think uh, in all these situations. To actually... I'll tell one thing. If I'm very very honest, or you know, one failure once you fail for one time in your life, and you'll stop taking advice. Hi. He failed only once. Knowing this, in all this, he was confused, right? And how many times did he fail in the speech? How many times did he, does he talk about failure in the speech? What was the one fail? What was the first failure? Uh, even after being a college student, he went to China and didn't get five dollars. That was the only failure. What was the second one? Uh, then that is the logical fallacy in the speech, my dear friends. This is what you have to pick it up. Are you getting it? Hi, you failed only once. Can you tell? You don't say that. You know that that's not bad in the speech. Probably if I were you, I would have told it like this. While the I I I got connected. If, if I were an evaluator, I would, I would start off by saying, you know, we all get a lot of advice, particularly in India. We got a lot of musky advice. We got a lot of free advice in India, and we are deluged with advice in India. And many a times, it actually interferes with our thought process as such. Thank you for bringing for calling this out, and that's one thing that I got connected to your speech with. Your speech had wonderful things. I really love. the way you transition from a college student from a confused college student to a guy who burnt his hands with advice from somebody else okay i uh, hear your phone man okay sorry i i i miss my have uh, flow of thought but yeah i also loved the way you prepared your entire speech with humor and i also loved the way that you got a realization at a fortune teller we also visit fortune tellers but we also follow them blindly it was so refreshing to note that you went in a different way altogether when you visited a fortune teller but having said that the road to success is not traveled without a puncture or two on your tire so let me talk about those few things that have made your speech a much better one going to china probably need not be walked all the way till the chinese flag is one thing that i thought while it looked good you make me i mean thank god the sound system was good else i would not have really heard what you were saying because i would have strained my neck to hear it again i am sure you would not have come to this conclusion that you would not take every single advice given by every single person without trying another advice or two i would have really wanted to hear it in your speech probably you would have cut down the china story a little short and told about another misadventure of yours because of blindly following some advice i personally would not have given up taking advice just because one advice failed 
because the person would, would have been wrong so kindly if you are giving the speech once again i would really request you to add a few more stories where you followed some advice blindly and you lost having said that to summarize your vocal variety is excellent your body language wonderful the way you connect your stories is really good the transitions were wonderful nevertheless please give me more logic so that i can replicate it in my own life because as you started with a line i also would like to end with a line give me freedom give me fire give me reason take me higher i want that reason from you thanks a lot for being a wonderful speaker i would love to hear more speeches from you thank you that's the only small thing that i would have added i took your point because that was really distracting when he was walking so fast he was not even walking slowly that's a distraction you did not walk so far on the stage here okay so this is what i would have done now i think you all know what went went what did not go well in your own evaluations uh, meena hope you also had your questions answered or uh, if you had any doubts if you have if anybody else in this audience has any questions time permitting i would like to take it otherwise i know we are already one hour behind schedule so thanks a lot for being a good audience thank you thank you so much subramanian sir for clarifying the queries and also giving an evaluation from your end so that the audience and the target attendees will be able to understand how to evaluate so with this uh, we hope that the audience in person and joining through online have gained lot of insights about how to evaluate speech just not evaluating but motivating the speaker as well for the future speeches so we would like to call it uh, to the end of the session and we hope you learned so many things about hsc and evaluation we would like to thank you for your time and patience and we hope you learned a lot about how to attempt an hsc humorous speech and how to evaluate and speech and be the best so we wish you all the best and we wish you uh, good luck for the contest season which is coming ahead and we would like to see you in our future training sessions from the pq office have a happy weekend take care stay healthy stay safe Thank you. Bye.